잠을 못 자나 Oh baby I'm in love with you Ooh, oh. 잘 때도 너무 사랑스러워서 oh, oh. 작업하느라 밤새도 함께인 기분 같아서 그대는 나의 커피야 Hi to anyone who might be watching this or not. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm currently filming from South Korea. I've been here for almost two weeks now. We are on the Friday of my second week, but I'm only filming this now because, well, at first I was really, really jet lagged for like five days uh, and it was just awful. It was like being sick without actually being sick and I only thought about uh, sleeping and yeah it was just really hard but I got lucky because it only lasted for five days uh, so there was that and then uh, I kinda got lazy and my organization was really shitty so I didn't get to film this until now but fortunately I'm finally doing it since, as you have seen uh, from the beginning of this video, I don't have a lot of footage of me going from France to Korea uh, and of my first few days here, uh, I thought I would just sit down and tell you about my first few days uh, and then I did do some stuff like I went to Seoul uh, last weekend and last Wednesday uh, and there will be videos coming up about that uh, later so I'm just going to talk about uh, my first few days here. Before uh, actually talking about uh, my trip to Korea, I just wanted to introduce myself briefly since in, it's the first real video of this channel. So my name is Jeanne, I'm 20, I'm from France and I'm in uh, South Korea uh, as an au pair for 6 to 9 months, I don't know yet. I arrived in Korea on Sunday the 20th, October the 21st of 2019, of course. Uh, I was already behind in terms of sleep uh, because two days before my flight I had pulled an all-nighter to because I, I was queuing for the BTS concert in Paris. So yeah, and then on the plane it was a night ride and I barely slept at all. So when I arrived to Korea I was really, really tired, but fortunately uh, the father of my host family came to pick me up at the airport uh, and it's also why I don't have a lot of footage of me actually arriving to Korea. My first few days, like my first week really, was really about getting to know the family, the little girl I'm taking care of and just the neighborhood and everything, trying to get used to my surroundings. So I didn't do much really, I got used to my room and to the house and I also slept a lot, like uh, in the morning I would take care of the little girl, then drop her off to kindergarten and then I would like sleep for at least two hours uh, in the morning because I was just so tired. But yet I didn't go out much even in the neighborhood because um, I was really scared of uh, the language barrier and running into a Korean person in like a shop or a cafe or something like that and not being able to understand what they are saying because I can't speak Korean except for like basic words like hello and thank you and things like that but other than that I'm still really <laughs> really bad at Korean so yeah it was a lot um, really scary for me so yeah I mostly stayed home but on the weekend uh, the father of my host family took me to Seoul because they actually don't live in Seoul but a little bit outside of it so he wanted to take me there to well show me the city because I was really excited about that and also to explain to me how to get there by bus and the different bus stops and everything. So we went to Myeongdong and it was just so cool to be here like I, I had seen of course a lot of videos and pictures of uh, Myeongdong before coming here and being there myself and seeing it with my own, with my own eyes was just amazing and yeah I really loved it and uh, that was on Saturday and on Sunday I went back to Seoul on my own because I was meeting a friend and we were going to the BTS exhibition but uh, I'm not going to get into that now because the next video will be kind of a vlog about it 
and I will put the pictures I took of the exhibition because we couldn't film but I will still uh, uh, include the pictures and talk about how it was so yeah, I'm just not going to talk about it for now. So yeah, that was my first week in Korea, I'm not going to talk about uh, the week we are on right now because it's Friday uh, at the moment. Uh, because one, I didn't do much, uh, and second, uh, I do have some footage, so I will probably use it in another video. For now, uh, after almost two weeks being here, I'm really happy about, well, my choice about choosing to leave friends to come here. My family is uh, really, really nice to me, I get along with them so well, and the little girl is adorable. She's two, so... Uh, of course she cries and things like that, but uh, she's really, really, uh, really nice and I'm really happy uh, about this whole situation and about uh, living with them and uh, people in general are also really kind even though uh, Korean people don't really talk to me because uh, they can't speak English and I can't speak Korean. Seoul is uh, so beautiful, I didn't think I would be so in love with it already, but yeah, I was amazed uh, by how beautiful it is, so I can't wait to, to go back and to feel more comfortable uh, with like uh, the bus and the subway and <laughs> everything. So yeah, everything is going well. The other thing for now is uh, the language barrier, because uh, I feel really like, I don't know, self-conscious and anxious about that, about not speaking Korean and uh, being in a country where I can't understand what's going on and it makes me feel like a baby because I feel like I have to rely on others all the time so yeah that's uh, that's the other thing but I'm going to study Korean, Korean hard and uh, hopefully make some friends uh, who speak who can speak Korean uh, or who are used to living here so this will be my goals uh, for the next few weeks uh, to make friends and uh, to study Korean harder. And that's it for now. Uh, that's all I have for today. I hope this wasn't too boring or uncomfortable to watch because I'm not really comfortable uh, being in front of the camera yet and speaking in English because my first language is obviously French. And uh, I know that my accent sucks, so yeah, but I, <laughs> I hope this was still somehow interesting to watch. I'm also sorry about the lack of actual footage and uh, about this video being just me sitting down in front of my camera. But yeah, I'm pretty new to all of this, so I hope you will bear with me and I will get better uh, with time. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'm sending you lots of love and I hope you, get, you have a good day or a good night uh, wherever you are around the world. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!